Hey everyone, welcome back to Denise Dives In. Today, I wanted to sit down and go over our week one budget results. I'm going to transfer this onto into my planner. I use an Erin Condren monthly planner. I got the new one to start. I like getting the newest version of it, so I did get the one that just came out for this year. I used up my other one. It's sitting right here next to me. All the pages that I haven't used in my other one, I'm using now to have like a sloppy copy that I can transfer over. So I'm going to, so here is where I put my, um, just bills. I just put my bills on this page now. And then I haven't figured out what I want to do with this page yet. I put just random stuff on that page. And then I have my basic income or basic budget. And then on this page, I thought it'd be fun to put my weekly budget so that I don't have to do the post-it note every month. So every week. So what I did was kind of bent the page so that I would know where the halfway point is. And then I'm just going to put week one. So I'm basically, I'm just transferring this, this guy week one. Um, and then I can put income on the same line cause there's enough room. My husband works in commission. So his paycheck was pretty low in comparison to his other paychecks last week, which is fine. Shit happens. Um, sometimes you have bad weeks when you work in sales. So that's, to be expected and that's why we are a month ahead on our bills so when i wrote this month's budget i used last month's income so we have bills and then um how i got the bills number was i took all of our bills and then i divided them by how many times he gets paid so he gets paid five times this month he gets paid on Thursdays and another thing was I guesstimated because I didn't know what Culligan was and Culligan actually came in way higher than I had projected so we're gonna write what I had originally thought which I think I budgeted 120 for it but I was off so it was 188 was what I guessed 58 and the actual was actually more than that. So I took everything that I pay for every month, 24, not every month. Like I didn't explain this in my monthly budget, but this is our pest control and he only comes quarterly. So next month that's not going to be in our budget. And I might do some sort of like sinking fund or something so that that's not such a big wall up every month. But for now, since we're just getting back into things, I thought it's, it's fine. Oh crap. I hit something wrong too. I think if you hit divide twice, it does something hokey. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really. Why is it less? Hmm. Let me just double check. <laughs> divide it by five. Interesting. Oh, I know why. Be okay. <laughs> so I had to get a new phone because I was like, what is going on? And I don't have editing software. So I was like, I don't want to scrap this whole video. Sorry guys. There's going to be a pause for a second while I figure out my life. So I had to get a new phone and I had to pay some stuff while I was there. So my Verizon bill went down drastically. So the money that this was up, this one was down. So this was $9 and $2, two cents more than I estimated. And this one was actually $41 less than I had estimated. So that's why it's less. So the actual is actually gonna be 482, 42 that I need to take out for our bills for every single paycheck. And then we've got, wow, I was, I was freaking out, man food and then for all of these I have over here food we went I, I 
budgeted 125 but we went boating yesterday we went on a pontoon boat and i brought snacks and stuff like that and we went to the grocery store before to get the snacks and so we went over because i got some stuff for the week so next week's should be less because i got stuff for this week like while we were there because i was like i might as well get bread and like things like that so we would have been under if i didn't go get that it was like 57 dollars i spent at walmart so and then we've got uh, eat out which we went over of course Eat out is just such a hard category for me because i feel like we don't like go to sit down restaurants or anything like that so we just are like oh let's have that or let's have that and it just adds up so this is a good thing that we're doing here that we're going through the motions of budgeting because i can see hey like i thought we were under and then when i added everything up i was like oh my gosh like i used some of my spending money for stuff so like i even spent more than this like it's an issue <laughs> um and then we have fuel which we both did fill up this is not going to be right every single week because some weeks we don't fill up at all and then other weeks we fill up twice we like my husband fills up and i fill up my car so i feel like this one's never going to be right so 45 i need to figure out a different way to do my weekly paycheck budgets but for now we're just going to do this and see what see what transpires um household i did end up getting some stuff even though i didn't need anything i just got um like a pyrex container with the lid and um i got some reusable uh sandwich bags and snack bags um dominic's going to be doing a karate camp so I already had some reusable bags, but I, I wanted like some that were just for karate camp just in case, because mine are a little bit more expensive than the ones I got. So if he loses them or breaks them or something like that, I'm not gonna be upset if he does that. So, because the last year of school, he got to get lunch at school for free. So that was $14. So we were a little bit under budget on that one because I bent the page, it's all flopping up now. Um, and then Alex went over because he did remember to get more juice than just the one package. So he got three packages, which was 65, 67. So like next week, I probably won't even need to give him any money because he doesn't need to get juice now for like three weeks. So um, he like does the vape, so. And then we have Denise, which <sighs> I thought I spent less too, but when I added everything up, I didn't put like a amount for myself. I just wanted to see what I was spending a month, so or a week. So 48.77 is what I spent. So if I gave myself $200 in spending money, if I divide that by about 5, that's $40 a week. So I went over. I did get some just stuff that I wouldn't normally buy. Like I since we were going on the boat, I bought like a cover up I bought a shirt for my mom and only two trips to Starbucks. It's not too bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, that could be better. I can be better. I want to try to keep it within like 20 to $30 a week. I, I think $200 is a lot of spending money that I'd rather like put towards some sort of savings or something. Um, and then I haven't budgeted. which I don't budget anything for. We didn't have any, but we went over and everything. So like, what's the, what's the diff? Um, and then just to catch you up on some other little categories we have, um, I, Dominic bought a $9 toy. So he got $50 this month. So he's already spent $9. And then Jane has already spent She's 11 months old. She didn't spend anything, but I bought her $104 worth of just her category is her formula, her diapers, um, any type of like medications, creams, like uh, she had like constipation last week. So we had to buy her prune juice and like all sorts of other crap. So 
All of that comes out of Jane's category, which will be going down quite a bit here next month because you can switch them from formula to milk. She's got some sort of allergy or intolerance to cow's milk. So I bought soy milk to try, um, or not soy milk, sorry, um, almond milk, because that's what the, the pediatrician recommended. So we'll see how that goes, but she cannot have like the vitamin D milk that I gave my son when he was that age. So, but it's way cheaper than her formula. One can of her formula was $55 at Walmart, $55. And Dominic's formula when he was a baby was like maybe 20, 20 bucks. And I know that it's like eight years different, but it's still pretty inexpensive for his formula. Like hers is double most of the time. So anyway, that'll be going down. And then Jane's birthday, I also did a category for. I've already spent over the amount. So I've spent 83.40 on her already. Um, I did end up getting her an outfit and I bought the decor already. I bought her like the little turning one candle and then I bought her another toy and cards, like a card from Dominic and a card from me and Alex. So she's already over, but um, I think that I'm not gonna use all of her 265. So hopefully that'll wash because I, I don't think she's gonna need that much for the rest of the month because her birthday's on the 21st and I have enough formula now through the rest of the month, so. And she's good on diapers and wipes. I think she should be good, so it'll be okay. Back to school, I gave Dominic $100 for back to the school. We already bought all of his stuff. Um, he doesn't need anything else unless they require some sort of like lunch deposit or something like that and school actually doesn't start till the middle of august here so i can put some money towards august budget too if i need to but as of right now he only spent 71.20 we got him a new backpack um we got him all of the supplies that was on his list and everything's good to go there um we didn't spend any money in fun and i think that's the only other categories that i don't track in this little weekly budget item thing here so that was the week um tell me how your guys' weeks went if you have any questions comments concerns leave them down below i'd be happy to answer them and chat with you guys um if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this i will see you in my next one have a great day guys bye